Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle multiple windows or tabs using Selenium WebDriver. So let's begin. First, so let's see what is the difference between tabs and window. And then we will see how we can handle those tabs and windows using Selenium WebDriver. For that, let me open my Chrome browser here and if i go here and click on this plus button so it says new tab so this is opening within the same window right we have multiple tabs this is known as tabs and the second thing is that is about the window so for example if i open another instance of google chrome now this will be treated as a window here now what we need to do is that we need to handle these things and why we need to handle these things for example you might have some application where you go and click on any link and that link will take you to another window or tab so this is a very very common functionality which we encounter and the challenge here is that first we need to automate something which is open on the main tab then we need to switch on the other tab we need to automate those things then after automating we need to go back to the main tab and continue our automation so this is a challenge before we actually jump into writing the code let me go through the official documentation of selenium regarding this so this is a url here let me copy this from here and paste it here okay so let's see what they say about these windows and tabs webdriver does not make the distinction between windows or tabs so for selenium webdriver these are both are same for them windows and tabs are same if your site opens in a new tab or window selenium will let you know how to work with it how to handle that window or this tab each window or tab has a unique identifier which remains persistent throughout a single session this means that if we have created any session through the selenium web driver for that particular session the identifier will remain same now how we can get the identifier let's suppose right now we are in a tab where it says working with windows and tabs and through java we can use driver dot get window handle if we use this one it will give us that unique identifier for this open tab or the window now how to switch between the windows and how to switch between the tabs so that's uh, pretty much easier if you go look here this is the older way of using it okay and um, let me go a bit easier here simply what we will do is that we will identify those tab we will provide the id of that tab or window and we just switch through that one okay as we are using selenium 4 in this series so Selenium 4 has a feature to open a new tab using this one and open a new window using this one. And we can close the window or tab accordingly. So this is a brief, uh, you know, idea about, you know, handling the windows and tabs. Let's go to Eclipse now and let me create a new class here and naming it as handling windows okay so this is the name of class let me click on finish now uh, before we start let me copy some basic lines of code on here and let me paste it here right so let me remove this part let me go with this one now we are here okay so this will open the chrome driver actually the chrome browser then it will maximize the window 
then it will open this internet Heroku app URL into the application right this is the way now what we need to do is that first we know that if we need to get an identifier as mentioned on their official website we will be using this driver.get window handle so for that let me go here and driver dot get window handle and handles so there are two things get window handle if you are looking for a single window if there are multiple windows open and in, in that particular case you would be using get window handles right now we need to use this one and we will be getting some kind of an identifier which would be in the string form so for that what i will do is that string and let me name it as main window or tab slash tab let me with the tab name here you can name it anything okay but name should be something which can actually tell you what this will get for you right now let me go with system dot out dot print ln and in print ln i would be printing this thing and let's see either we are getting some string identifier or not so let me run this and see what happens so it will go to the internet heroku app and then it will give us the details of that particular tab and let me go here and let me go to the console section here here is the console and here you can see that we got something unique here right so this is basically an identifier for this first window where this particular application is open okay now what we can do is that let me go back let me close this one here and let's go here now as we know that using selenium web driver 4 feature i can actually open the new tab or window right so this is the way so let me copy this from here and let's go here and let me paste it here right so here we need to import window type and we are good to go now what it will do is that it will open a new tab the first tab will contain internet heroku app and the second tab would be empty as of now so let's run this and see either it's opening a new tab or not so it will go internet heroku app and then you can see it opens a new tab here and this tab is empty now now the question is that how we can open a url in case uh, if there is any url which we need to pass here so that's really simple actually what we need to do is that we need to go with the simple this driver.get option because now we are actually switched to that window and let me go here and let me type here google.com let me copy the url from here go back here and let me paste it here okay now let's run this and see what happens now so it will open the first tab where it will open the internet heroku app now it will open a second tab and it will open the second website which is google.com right but in in actual you might face some uh, you know scenarios where actually you will go here and click on something and it will take to you and other tab but in in either way it will work in the same way okay so so now let's go back and here and now what i need to do is that i would be using driver dot get window handles because 
at this point of the code, there would be two tabs, right? So ideally, what happens is that it should give us two different IDs. So driver dot get window handles. Okay. And let me put it directly into system dot out dot print ln and under the print ln let me put this one this one and let me put it direct into here so driver dot get window handle okay and let's run this and see what happens so in interviews uh, you might encounter with a question that either this identifier will change at any point no it will not change if there's one unique identifier it will remain same throughout your session which is created through the selenium web driver if i go back here and let's see so this is the first thing when it goes to the first step here we got this unique identifier and if we look into this one this is the very same identifier and it reflects to this internet repo app tab now the second one is actually reflecting to the basically the google tab so that's how we can actually switch between the tabs and now now, now we are actually on other tab right we are on the google tab so how can I go back to the main tab? That's really simple. So if I want to do, go back to the main tab here, so main tab is saved here in the, using this string. So what I will do here, I will go with driver dot switch to dot window. And here we need to provide main window so this is the main tab here and we need to provide here and that's it so now it will go back to the main tab which is internet heroku app tab and let's suppose if we want to confirm that either we are on the correct tab or not i will do this simply what i'll do is that driver dot Simply if I go with the get title of the page and let me put this into system dot out dot print ln and inside the print ln I will be passing this one. So let me copy this one from here and paste it within this system dot out dot print ln and let me remove this from here. So now what is happening? First, it will go to this internet here, go app.com, then open a new tab, where it will go to google.com, then it will switch back to the main tab, actually, which is this internet here, go app.com. Then it will actually grab the title. So from title, we can actually, you know, assert that we are on the main tab. So let me do this and let's run this and see what happens. So first it will go into the first tab, then it will go to the second tab, then it will again come back to the Internet Hero app tab. And if I go here, so it printed the internet. So how this the internet came from? So basically the internet is a title of this particular internet heroku patch so for that let me show you and let's confirm the title for that let me go here and let me copy this url from here and open the browser and let me paste it here and if i go here go to inspect so if i go to the html here so this is a header and this is a title so the title because we were getting a title so the title is the internet so this means that our driver was switched back to the main page
page. Now let's do this example with the type of window. So here initially we were using a tab here. Now we have another option called dot window. So I'm just changing from tab to window here and it will work in a very same way. Now let's go here and let me run and this time you will see that there will be two instances of Chrome browser. First instance here internet logo app.com then another tab open where google.com open and then it switch back to the mean and here you will see that both are open in one it's a google and on other is internet Heroku app so that's how you can actually work with the multiple tabs and windows and that's how you can switch between tabs and perform your automation thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial